right, after being gone for 10 days, I came back to two subscription boxes. So today, we're going to start with palette full packs. Let's see what's inside. Okay, let's pack tight. Some little cup. It says it's a watercolor cup. Mixed media art crayons from Marabou. More art crayons. A black and a white. What else? Ooh, another Princeton brush. It's a nice round size six. A card with our prompts for this month. And Strathmore Series 500 ready cut watercolor paper, 140 pounds. Very nice. 8 by 10. So, here we have this month's box. Cool. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so on these art crayons, we got these colors here. So, there's no blues, which is fine. We'll work around it. And then they're all wrapped in plastic. So, I tried the Posca method of just twisting the cap to get it off and it worked really easily on the black one but this one took a little more effort so you just have to unwrap them all and then we'll get started and in case you don't know what an art crayon is it is a buttery smooth wax based soft pastel and a sturdy fully loadable retractable holder with an ergonomic grip and a clear protective cap a versatile medium that's suitable for a variety of fine art and mixed media work. Art crayons work well on raw or primed surfaces such as paper, canvas, fabric, or wood. Create rich textural solids at 100%, blend and stamp colors for beautiful backgrounds, or brush with water for transparent effects or reductive techniques like wipe stencils. I skipped an orange somehow, so I stuck that in there and then I labeled these and this one was spelled with two L's, so I just put that over there. As far as the watercolor paper, it says there's no need to cut down larger sheets and no wasted paper. These sheets of 500 series premium watercolor paper are pre-cut into standard size sheets for ready-made frames and mats. The paper is 100% cotton, archival, lignin, and acid-free and available in cold and hot press finishes. So we received the cold press finish and you can see that I traced around my little swatch sheet so I could get an 8x10 sheet on my sketchbook and I'm just putting in this sketch and here I'm trying to incorporate those four prompts jealous, wrapped, new, and romantic all in one piece so that I can do other things this month. So that's what I try to do with these subscription boxes is to just incorporate all of the prompts together in one piece. So I have a boy giving a flower to a girl and there is a jealous boy with a wrapped present in the back and his heart is broken, but it's so romantic and cute. Sorry about the computer bings. I apparently have notifications on on my computer and I am not going to re-record. So sorry this time. I'll, I'll do better next time. So it's really neat how these art crayons kind of dissolve in water. So that's really fun and you can see it just blends really beautifully, kind of surprisingly too. So the brush is fun to work with. It's nice. It holds its sharp point. You'll see that later when I actually use it to line things. It's impossible with these art crayons to get any sort of detail, which you could probably tell just by their thickness. So put them on and then use the brush for the detail. Then you're pretty well set. So that's, that's a good thing to remember. All right, what else do we got about the brush? High quality short handled brush is made to last. With its robin's egg blue colored handle, this will be a beautiful addition to your existing brush collection as they go above and beyond many other brushes on the market. Okay, and the plastic water cup, it says ready to blend your art crayons with water. Fill up this cup with a little water and you are ready to go. So according to Palletful Packs, the retail value of this box is $58.50 and Nope, that's what I figured out. So my retail value that I could find was $58.50. They say their value is $57.05, so very close there. 
I paid $32.50 I believe for this box because I paid for the entire year at one time so you get a little bit better discount that way. So definitely a huge value. For some reason these art crayons are hugely expensive so I have them listed in the description below if you want to go check them out and see if you like them yourself. So there were several ways I used these art crayons. You've probably seen them in this fast forward. I use them directly on the paper and then take the brush and blend them out. I also hold them in my hand and take a wet brush and kind of smear the brush on the tip of the art crayon and then use that for some details. And then you saw there just a second ago that I rubbed a bunch on my the back side of my swatch paper and mixed them all together and that's how I got that flesh tone. I mixed red, yellow, orange, and pink together, got a flesh tone, and then just more water means lighter skin tone, less water means darker. So that's basically how I use them. And then in this final stretch here, I used a ton of black on the back of my swatch paper, got it wet with my brush, and literally used that size six round brush for all this lining because it comes to such a fine point. So that was great because I have heard that these art crayons don't take a micron pen over the top of it very well because they're a little bit waxy feeling. So that is one other thing I wanted to tell you guys is if you're using these on their own, they're going to be kind of waxy and they will come off. So if you're using them in an art journal or something like that, you will want to add water to them because once I added water, they didn't really smear much more. So here is my final version where I actually remembered to add the ground under the poor characters so that they didn't look like they were floating in the air and so my final thoughts on these are I think they're great for art journaling possibly or something like that they are not something that is going to be easy to create a final art piece with however so they are going in my box of supplies that I am not too thrilled with possible giveaways in the future however there is an abstract piece that I thought these might be good to use. So luckily that giveaway box does stay here in my house. If I decide to use them later, I'll pull them out. And if I don't use them in a while, they will be in the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you felt this video was worth your time. Really appreciate it. See you soon.